First off, I don't see that shirt. Um, I want to thank everyone that came out yesterday to the cancer clinic we had beforehand. Um, had over 100 kids there. Uh, so I want to thank all the kids and all the parents that came out. Uh, Brett Robbins, one of my coaches, did an incredible job um, getting everything lined up. Him and his wife took care of everything, so appreciate the job they did. Um, you guys know that it's blue for a reason, so it's not meant to be purple. It was meant to be blue. Um, you guys know where the Kelsey Motley um, battling cancer right now. Um, so this is this was for her, and uh, the proceeds are going to go to her. So everybody that supported, it, we, we we truly appreciate it, um, and and hopefully lifts her spirits a little bit. So I um, want to thank everyone for came out because wrestling is a it is a tight knit close community. It is like family. So appreciate everyone that supports us and and also supported her. So um, I want to thank everybody for, who did that. Uh, Rolling Ford also want to tell you guys they, they uh, sponsored 20 kids to be able to go to the camp. So pretty cool thing that that they did. They always always sponsor and um, find a ways to to support our program. So always send a shout out to Rolling Ford and everything they do. And then. Uh, the idea for this came away, came from Bill Bales. Uh, he's done a co-wrestling a few times, um, and he's been fighting cancer for about five years now, and he's going through chemo again. So if you could send some prayers his way, he was at the at the meet yesterday, um, helping out any way he could. Um, is a huge supporter of our program and is an inspiration to us. So um, if you know Bill or don't know Bill, sure certainly uh, start adding him in, his, in your prayers because uh, he'd certainly appreciate it. Um, as far as a meet goes. Obviously, I mean, you can look on the scoreboard and see that it was a lot different. Um, and I guess I'm more I'm more pleased with how we got to 29 to nine, um, and some things that we talked about being able to do, fighting to stay on top a little bit longer, um, a little bit of hustle things, some things that really they're not they're not like a skill area. It's just I'm making up my mind, and you know, a couple couple of spots really stick in my head. Uh, if you watch Hodges' match, you know he's in he's in a one-zero battle, and the guy thinks he's going to get away. He's got a hand on him, and he decides, you know what, I'm not going to let him go. He ended up putting him back down, um, went back to center, got a start, got him flat, turned him, and that that was really a difference maker in the matches. So you know, you guys, you watch you watch uh, basketball, you watch football. There's you know momentum shifts. I mean, to me, that's a momentum shift. Um, and that was just because he, he, he fought a little bit longer. He put a little more effort to keep the, keep the guy down. And we talked about that this week. We talked about uh, returning a guy to a mat, being, being stingy and tough on top. Um, and guys did it you know, in our match. I think we had riding time in six matches. So um, it's, if you're going to get riding time, you're going to have a very good chance to win. You know, we, we got ridden last week, I think, maybe gave a riding time in six matches. And you know, we lost those matches. Um, so trying to kind of return the favor. Uh, but you know, obviously Peter's coming out and getting a fall. It's always good. It's always great for for us to start with, with bonus points. And you know, I mean, he likes to pin people, so good for him. And and we want him to continue to pin people. Um, Elber, Elber got bonus points again. I think every, every win he's had so far this year has been bonus points. Um, so you know, to have start getting eight, nine, ten matches where you're getting bonus points every time, the, that's that's a great job. He's continuing to build. I think he's got the last takedown, the last 15 seconds to get the major. So. Um, real good things. Hodges was able to really be a hammer on top. Um, Max got a takedown late to get to get bonus points. Um, you know, paid Moore's in on a leg to get bonus points at the end. Uh, uh, let's see. Styert. Styert's a guy, man. He had a great attack. Uh, that kid, that kid's ranked in the, I think in the top 12 in most polls. Um, has had some good wins, so it was a good win for him. Obviously, you know, if there was another second or two in the clock, it. Might not, although I think Skyrick could have scrambled out of it. That guy's got some crazy hips, and he, he was like a cat, so I think somehow he would have come out of that. Uh, but that's where you want to continue to build your lead. And he wasn't, he wasn't very happy with himself because he didn't close out the match, but you know, was still able to get his hand raised against a good guy, um, still building confidence there. Luhan, Luhan's a little bit of a magician. I mean, sometimes, like, how does this guy get out of those things? I mean, obviously, we'd like to have him in on the legs a little bit more, but. Um, you know, still still finding ways to, to get the job done as a freshman. And I think you're just going to keep seeing a better Lujan. Um, Foster, big win. I mean, there's there's no other way to put it, but I like how he did it. 6-1, had almost three minutes of riding time on a guy that's been an All-American before, um, ranked in the top 10 in the country. Um, so to me, that's, you know, you want kind of those trademark wins. You want exclamation point on things in a duel and exclamation point on matches. Um, I think he definitely did that. 
you know, he had, had a couple incredible attacks. If you guys saw the shots that he hit, those are very high level. I don't, I don't care who you can put, you can put any 84 pounder in the country out there, and, and those are attacks that he, that can score against anybody. Um, so you know, obviously we have a we have a good problem there with two very, very, very capable guys who both want to be the guy, um, and that's that's a great thing. Um, Bartell, obviously, he he's battling, man. He's he's going out there and he's 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 a warrior for 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 himself and for the team. So um, and then JJ. JJ, we didn't need to have him wrestle. Um, he dinged up a little bit, and if you can give a guy a break, you you know you give a guy a break. So, um, other than that, I thought I thought the response was good. We had a good week of training, and guys responded to it. Some of the things that we talking about doing, they did them. So that makes me pleased as a coach. And now we just got to keep raising our level. Um, you and I open this week. Will be a good good event. I mean, there, there's no doubt about. It. I know Missouri and Illinois, as far as I saw, are bringing their full their full squads, um, and they're both. You know, obviously Missouri's a, a top five, top five team in the country. Um, I would imagine anybody, everybody that's healthy is coming. Um, I saw that Martinez put on Twitter that he's coming. The guy's a two-time defending national champion. Obviously, a very, a very fun guy to watch. Um, I think at 65 alone, there's going to be, you know, at least three ranked guys and, and highly ranked guys. So um, it'd be be a, a good event to get out to. Um, be a lot of good wrestling. Uh, we'll be in the dome starting at nine o'clock. So. Um, other than that, I know we'll have a good week of training, and we'll uh, we'll send everybody that's ready to compete. You know, so we we probably won't have a full squad. Some guys, it's going to be smarter to to get them ready for Wisconsin, and then we have a little break, and then we get ready for the Southern Scuffle. So I'm um, kind of thinking ahead on some of our guys. So um, a few guys probably won't be in the lineup, but we're gonna we're gonna have close to close to everybody competing this weekend. So any questions? Honestly.